across the country, close to 18 or 20 of them which have come in the last 10 or 10 or years. What we realize, as uh, Dr. Moni said, by the time a cancer center is built, in the you know, most centers which provide an equitable excellence type of construct have always come. And doctors there hardly have any time given the load that exists in places like Patiara or Kanmi to see the hospital in Bombay. What we realized was we need to break that notion of cancer can be addressed only in a large epic cancer center. And that we can only do it uh, by breaking the boundaries or historically what we have assumed that it can happen in such epic centers working in the range of multi speciality hospitals, public health centers, uh, break those barriers of uh, early detection and also get the diagnostics alive early. Secondly, it is also important to draw from the media and press to demystify many of those notions that exist as one of our colleague, Dr. G. Kera, who is Director of Coordination of the Sciences Cancer Center for close to 40 years. He says cancer is a fantastic disease. Unlike many other diseases, 50% of cancers are completely preventable and 50% of the balance if detected early are completely treatable, except we don't know. So therefore, uh, it is very important for us. I was quite touched and uh, I also said, pardon me, I was ignorant of Jericho. I knew of it. I didn't know the scale and depth of what you do until recently seeing the video. What struck me even more was uh, to deal with literally everyone with a lot of dignity and empathy. It is extremely important and uh, these days it's quite rare. And uh, unless we have that humanness and approach, we can't be able to address this uh, lot more complexly. I do hope, despite your expansion plans and empathy and uh, individualized attention a lot of people continues and perhaps expands and thrives and becomes a model for yeah. many other institutions also to follow. Thank you once again for the opportunity to give us and hope uh, together we can make a significant difference to the Thanks once again. Uh, I am a medical oncologist and uh, we practice here in the uh, geriatric uh, hospital Jerica as a geriatric oncologist. So oncology and uh, geriatrics we have heard. So what is uh, we are trying to subspecialize is a uh, branch called geriatric oncology. So the one that geriatrics is uh, treating elderly people with care as you have seen in the video. When they get cancer, it is not like treating a young patient. So they need a lot of cooperation between geriatric physician and oncologist to correctly assess what is the risk involved. Uh, uh, there are issues are already hypertension, diabetes, coronary artery disease, arthritis. So we have to treatment for 30 year old. So that is individualized how better it can be suited for an elderly? That is what we are trying to do here in uh, Jericho with a full team of uh, oncologists here. And we are very excited to partner with uh, Carpinos, who is, uh, as uh, uh, discussed, the main aim is to early detection by uh, screen. For Tamil Nadu, uh, ladies breast cancer the first uh, topmost cancer, followed by cervical cancer. Uh, it is lung cancer, mouth cancer, the oral cavity cancer. It is a screen for the type of cancer. So, screening a large scale, in the, especially in the elderly population, we can detect early stage. So, first stage is the second stage. 90 to 95% of the patients can be cured and treatment can be very less. For the third stage of the cancer, we have to treat with chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, whereas if it is a small lump in the breast and we pick it up at one first stage, maybe only surgery and some hormonal tablets. Very simple treatment will be simple. So we are very excited to join with the Carcados and hope we can better the uh, people with the elder, uh, elderly age in and around the world where we are looking forward for this partnership. Thank you.
Thank you.